Hello everyone, it's Alex Suslov and Billy Abrams, CEO of ADM Securities, here with you today for our AD Weekly Digest. Hi, Billy. Hello, everybody. Hello, Alex. How are you? Doing well. Good. Billy, uh, it's been about three months since we were talking about oil here, making its highs. Um, and I have it written down, March 7, Brent oil was at $137 and today we're back at highs, we're a little over 120, uh, which sparks inflation today and is uh, bringing some scrutiny to the world's economy. We've seen ECB just recently raised their um, target rate by 25 basis points and New Zealand raised their rate last week and we're ahead of FOMOC meeting uh, this week. What do you see going on in the market today? What are your expectations and what numbers tell us? Well, Alex, um, first of all, since it's been two weeks since we sat down, uh, there's been a lot of economic news that's come and gone. Too much to go over in a few minutes. Uh, the one number that came out that was most important, and you would have known this coming in, was the BLS jobs report. Uh, showed quite a few more non-farm payroll jobs added last month than were expected upward revision to the previous month's non-farm payroll. So it was a strong jobs report. And I think what that, I think that plays into the Fed's hands at the next FOMIC meeting to have no, no concerns at all about going another 50 basis points. I, I think the jobs market is the one market we have to keep an eye on. If it begins to soften, uh, we'll probably be about the time we see the Fed go from 50 to 25 at each meeting. Uh, but uh, going forward um, with the FOMIC meeting next week, I think that's the only number that matters going forward. As far as treasury rates go, uh, when we sat down here two weeks ago, we were right at the, at the low yields of the trading range. We had been, uh, I think May 6th was the high yields we've seen in, in all the markets. Uh, they rallied about 40 basis points into May 25th when we sat down last time. And right now they're right back up near the high yields. I've attended non cam forum just recently uh, that took place in Dana Point, California. And we heard a lot of uh, things that you just mentioned. A lot of conventional borrowers are not qualified and they uh, are switching to non-KM loans. Investors are seeing uh, better yields on non-KM and getting more traction in the space, which is good for non-KM since it's a purchase business and some cash out transactions um, are issued on, uh, in non-KM space. More guys who were looking into NPLs and RPLs today are looking at non-KM. So uh, there is a great start for a growing appetite in non-KM loans these days, uh, which I think is very good for the industry, are getting more traction today. And A&D especially starts taking applications on a case-by-case -case basis for commercial loans, 528, multifamily properties, mixed-use properties, so mostly small balance commercial. We don't uh, start issuing loans on the big offices in New York City, uh, but those multifamily investors um, is our target and we'll be looking to uh, see more of those loans in our pipeline. We see more traction on condominiums now with a shortage of housing, as you mentioned. A lot of borrowers were not able to secure a single family residence home. They're going to condominiums and some condominiums might have uh, minor litigation when I know a valet guy slipped um, in the parking and seeing the condominium, we would be accepting minor litigations on a limited review project. So you don't need to switch to full review and um, have all that scrutiny around the full review when it's low LTV loan. Excellent. Excellent. What about upcoming webinars? For the webinars, Bill, we, on June 14, we'll have a 411 on 1099 and WVOE program where all our account executives would be explaining the beauty of the product and the ease of use. And on June 21st, non-warrantable condominiums that I just mentioned would be explained in more details what AMD does there and what are our advantages uh, over other programs and how those may, may fit uh, your borrower and his or her needs. Thank you everyone. Uh, we're happy to be here with you for this week AD Digest. It was Billy Abrams, CEO of ADM Securities and myself, Alex Suslov, Head of Capital Markets at AD Mortgage. Thank you everybody. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Billy.